What's up, y'all? It's your girl Stephanie. Today, I have a Valentine's Day lingerie try and haul for y'all. You are about to see more of my body than you ever have before, but I am so in love with so many of these pieces that I really had to share it with you. This video is in partnership with Savage X Fenty, and they really brought it for Valentine's Day. I'm sure like 99% of y'all know what Savage X Fenty is, but if you didn't, it is a company that offers hundreds of styles of bras, underwear, lingerie, loungewear in an extensive array of sizes. They go from 32A to 42H and extra small to 3X. I just feel really happy to be working with them because I feel very aligned with a lot of their ideals. They're very size inclusive. They're all about empowerment and self-confidence. And I know that this is a Valentine's Day haul, but to me, this just look really fun theme to be working off of. Uh, I feel like I treat every day as Valentine's Day for myself. I love purchasing lingerie for myself uh, to make me feel sexy, to make me feel happy. So don't think you gotta buy it for somebody else. Everything that I own from Savage X Fenty is very high quality, comfortable, and very supportive. That's the other thing, especially in terms of lingerie that I have issues with is I'm a 36D or 34 double D and it can be very difficult for me to find brands that like work with my body. And the fact that everything is under $50, which is so unheard of for a lingerie company. Uh, but yeah, with all that said, if you haven't yet, please make sure to subscribe below, come join the sisterhood, no matter your true pronoun or gender identity, come join the family. All right, let's get started. First things first, let's talk about what is on my bod right now. Oh my God. This is the Mosaic Lace Bustier in Goji Berry Red. Can I tell you, it is very, very difficult for me to find bustiers or corsets or this kind of item with boning that I can actually wear. Because I have larger breasts, a lot of times with these kind of items, it'll like smash my boobies down and just collect everything up. I always have this like overflow of like when I'm standing still, it'll just be like back fat, you know? But clearly with this one, okay, let me just turn around. Look at this. It's flat, it's amazing. You can see there's like a sheer paneling back here and we got some nice support. Other crazy thing is I am not wearing a bra right now. A lot of times with these kind of things, I just feel like they shaped it really nice the way that they did the boning so that it actually is like a bit curved in. A lot of times bustiers or corsets will just be like, I don't know what they do, they just make it flat. I've worn this now a couple times. I'm trying to save it uh, because I really wanna wear this on Valentine's Day. Clearly you can see I'm wearing these with, uh, oh God, I almost tripped there, with jeans here. I feel like this is a top that can really go from maybe wearing underneath something to shape you a little bit or something to just wearing out and about. I really hope they make this in like every single color. I actually don't know what other colors. I, I hope there are already some other colors out there because I will 100% purchase this in everything they got. Okay, so I'm actually gonna go by like fabric type, I think. Yeah, so we have a few bras, we got undies, a couple of teddies, and some accessories as well. So I'm gonna start off with this little collection right here. Let's start off with this baby blue one. This is the Down the Aisle Bralette in Blue Twinkle, and I wear the size medium. By the way, the bustier is also a medium. It's perfect. This bra is a very unique, super cute little heart pattern on there. If you go around to the back, we have a blue ribbon that you can tie as just a little something extra. I really love how Savage X Fenty just does these small little extra things that make all the difference in the world in terms of how special it makes something and like the quality. The thing that I think that makes this really unique and makes me able to wear it uh, with larger breasts is that it has this singular piece of boning on the very side. It makes it so it stays in place and it doesn't scrunch up on the side, if that makes sense. And it makes it so it doesn't wanna like smash my boobies into like 
too little, I don't know, it, I don't know how to describe that, but smash it down. It makes it so it can smooth out and still be a little bit shaped without actually having to have a, a wire underneath. And I think that's such a smart part of this design. I truly do. I don't even know, maybe I have had a bra like this before, but I'm really not sure because I don't remember ever really seeing something that has this boning in the side. There are like a few pieces in this color and the print, and I really, really want them. But I have two more pieces uh, in this same kind of fabric. So let's talk about this first. This is, here we go, hello. This is the down the aisle thong in goji berry red, and this is in small. As you can see, there's this like beautiful satiny ribbon, and the unique thing about it is that it has two strings. So if we take away one of them, we just got the thong string, and then we got a second one here that I think you could put like higher on your hips. Like, okay, let me see. <laughs> I don't even, I'm gonna climb up on here. Okay, so if you were to be wearing this like that, and then, wait, what if I just put it on? Oh my God, I'm on a swivelly chair right now. Huh? Okay. Huh? Okay. <laughs> okay, so you're wearing it like this, right? And then you have <laughs> the thong and you can put it up higher, you know, like on the hips up here if you want and like wear this one a little bit lower or you could just, you know, bring them both up. Is this just like a new thing now? Should I just... <laughs> okay, so we're just gonna continue on. I'll just wear these on top of my jeans. But yeah, super cute thong. If you were to wear it underneath clothes or underneath pants, I've had other more like decorative thongs that uh, it's like too stiff. This, this little um, bow, it's not a ribbon, a little bow lays quite flat on you. So... <laughs> You could wear it out, maybe surprise somebody with a little present at the end of the evening. So last item in this style is the down the aisle Teddy in Goji Berry Red. This is in the size small. I just, I don't even know how to describe how good I felt putting this on. To show this to you on camera, I went ahead and I put on some, <laughs> I was like wearing a thong and then I put a pair of high-waisted uh, like red underwear. It was really perfectly paired underneath here. Clearly you can see that this in itself is a very sheer item. I love all the fringy edges up top, but also the way that it lays on the hips, just the way that this is cut is so beautiful on the body. And I just think in general, I felt bomb in it. Um, wearing this, I wore a bra that I'm gonna show you in a second underneath. It has um, these straps that you can take off. So because I was wearing uh, the other bra with straps already, I decided just to take the straps off and wear it as a tube top kind of situation. And it stays up really easy, super comfortable, very soft. All this mesh that we have going on, all the lace from uh, Savage X Fenty is very soft. So I love this. I also put it on, you know, without anything underneath and it looked very cute as well. I was gonna show the second teddy now, but I'm gonna save it as like a grand finale for the lingerie, <laughs> cause it is so good. Um, so let's get into this other material, which is the flocked logo one. So I have two of the same bra here. I'm gonna show you this colorway first. So this is the flocked logo unlined bra in goji berry red. This is in 36D for me. And in my previous video with Savage X Fenty, I believe I showed you the black version of this. It's just a really comfy, unlined bra. Again, very soft material. If you look closely up in here in velvet, it says Savage, and then it says Fenty on there. Such a cool design. And in the breast area, actually no, all over, it is a double mesh. So it is very supportive, even though there are no padded cups. I just love this. I wear the black one all the time. And because I already knew that I love this bra so much, I saw a second colorway in cotton candy pink. This is the flocked logo unlined bra, again, 36D. There's really something about this velvet being in this color. Even though it's such like a, you know, girly color, I just feel badass wearing this bra. I feel very supported. And now I have 
<laughs> this exact bra in three colors now, which is incredible. I have some fun little accessories to get into, but before that, let me show you this teddy. I think this might be my favorite teddy I've ever worn of all time. This is the floral lace teddy in cotton candy pink. I don't even know where to begin <laughs> talking about all the things I really love about this. Um, so, okay, as you can see in the top, there is no like underwire or anything actually supporting underneath the breasts. And I would really never go for something like this because typically what happens with these kind of teddies for me, the ones that I've tried on before, it just makes my boobs go down. Like it pushes it down. But this one, there is some space here. Clearly they have kind of created a curve in the sewing. And also because it does have a bra strap like in the back, I think that really gives you the ability to adjust how tight it is right around here. So the material actually does hug and support your breasts. And that is the first time I've been able to wear something like this that doesn't even have, you know, any wiring on the side or anything at all. And I just felt so sexy and so incredible. I love the cut of the top two, how it goes into a V. This material, like how much they put up here and they put it all the way, you know, up almost to your collarbone, I think. It makes it just very supportive up top. And then it has the bra strap in the back right where it's cut like around the sides is really nice because it gives you a really nice kind of inward feeling shape. In the video, in the B-roll obviously where I'm trying this on, again, I have another pair of high-waisted uh, pink little panties on. But here it is pretty sheer, but again, wore it without anything underneath and felt fantastic. I just really appreciate the thoughtfulness that goes into the lingerie at Savage X Fenty. I feel like it really is made for a variety of bodies. They really take into consideration that a variety of bodies, of sizes and shapes would want to put this thing on because a lot of lingerie companies, this little simple thing right here would never work for me. So I just love it so much. And also, you know what? The other thing I've been really embracing lately and like been not so bothered about is I always used to only wear, not like super padded, just very thinly padded bras in general um, and never went for unlined because my breasts are two different shapes. And because my weight does fluctuate, like recently I have been losing a bit of weight. One breast will become much smaller than the other. It's like, why don't you just, why doesn't it just happen evenly? Or why doesn't it just not happen in my boobs at all? Just exit from the stomach area, maybe, you know, the arm area, but it's always boobs first. But what happens is it when I lose weight, this one, wait, this one, this one stays okay. Um, it kind of like gets smaller as a whole. This one loses like, underneath. I don't know what it is, but I lose the fat just underneath. So this booby is more like, say this one's like this, this one's more like this, and there's just a lot less meat underneath there. Even when my boobs were at their like largest, they were definitely different shapes, different types of breasts. Um, but recently I've been like, you know what? I don't care. Everybody has different shaped boobies and I shouldn't be embarrassed about the breasts that I have. I think that is generally my feeling of like turning 30 this year, only like last year being able to feel confident wearing spaghetti straps for some reason, like not feeling comfortable wearing this outside of my own home. I don't know, man. I just let it go. And now I'm much happier. So I'm sorry, I just went off on a really big tangent there, but okay. Uh, let me just show you a few more extra fun accessories that I got here. So I got this triple pack of pasties. So here we have the Don't Part em three piece bundle. In this bundle, you get some flat sparkle red pasties. You get some more pointed sparkle black pasties. And then you also get these like rhinestone encrusted ones, incredible. The flat ones, I believe, 
I think, yeah, it makes sense that they're like one time use. So they already have a little sticky back there for you. The ones that are multiple use come in a little box. So you get it in this little box here. And then it comes with the pasty, pasties. And then it also comes with a few of these little like double-sided little sticker guys. So you can stick it on there and reuse it, which is awesome. So that's that triple pack right there. You get all three of those in that bundle. And then I have one more little set here, Velvet Heart Pasties. This is in Goji Berry Red. These are so well made. On the back side, we have this like faux leather material that it is lined with. Again, comes with the little stickies. Just stick that on there. So cute, really soft. I've never used these kind of pasties before, so I'm still experimenting. But yeah, just a fun little addition to have. I did get one pair of stockings here. These are the Divorce Court Thigh High Stay Up Stockings in Goji Berry Red. I got it in medium large and clearly has Savage X Fenty and Bedazzled Crystal thing on the thigh. It is a really soft sheer red material. It has like that sticky stay up stuff. I'm sure a lot of y'all have worn thigh highs before. I used to wear thigh highs all the time in college especially. That was my jam. Cause I really like to wear, yeah that was a time that I was wearing a lot of skirts. Uh, and I would wear thigh highs because I thought it was very annoying to take on and off pantyhose, but I liked the look of having pantyhose on. It wouldn't ever be showing, but if I were to, I don't know, sit down or something, that little, that little peak of the fact that you're wearing thigh highs is very sexy, I feel like. Yeah, if you were to like go out to eat or go to a bar or something and like sit down on like a high stool and kind of cross your leg and then this pops out, it's game over. My final extra it is, is very extra, okay? Uh, so we have this beautiful satiny box here. Open it up. We got the Kitty Whip with Charms. Hopefully you can see that on these beautiful kind of rose goldy chains, we got little heart charms on there. Faux leather handle, very grippy. And to give you even more, you know, security and control, there is a little wrist strap. So I don't know if I'd, this is very intense. This could, oh. Get a little stingy after a while. This could definitely do a little bit of damage, uh, but could also it could also be fun. Uh, so you know, just add it to your cart. Go ahead and add it to your cart if you're already uh, putting an order in. I've honestly never felt hotter <laughs> than when I was putting these items on. Pretty amazing. So if you want to check out Savage X Fenty for yourself, maybe the website is like a little bit overwhelming for you, and you're not sure like which styles you want because it got a ton. Uh, you can do a quiz to find out which Savage X you are. And Savage will select styles specifically catered to your personal taste. And once you sign up, make sure to become a VIP and you will get 50% off of any item within your first extra VIP order. Make sure to check out the description box because I'll have all the items I talked about, of course, linked out down there, but also I will have the style quiz linked as well. And yeah, that's it for this Valentine's Day lingerie try on haul. Thank you so much to Savage X Fenty once again for partnering with me in this video and just for creating lingerie that I can wear on my bod. I freaking love it. So I hope y'all enjoyed watching this video. If you have any comments, anything you wanna discuss down below, go for it. I love y'all and I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Ow.